So we're in a little wicked little town called Tatri Lom Lomnitia. Um, and supposedly there's a real cool cable cart up here that you can take. Koa? Koa, stop there mate. There's a road coming up. There's, apparently there's a really cool cable car you can take that takes you a fair way up the hill, up the mountain, so um and good for families too, so we're gonna go suss that out right now. Why is it going so far? Cable car. It's looking as not as high as Langkawi. And there's a building. There is a building. Hi. Is this something, Dad? Yeah. Oh, look at that mountain up there with the, the clouds going over it. You can't see any, really see the mountains right now, eh? Stoked we've got kind of a moody weather day. It makes everything look so much better. The mountains are kind of a bit covered at the moment with um, cloud, but as they clear off it type of thing, it just looks wicked. So hopefully we can get some sick footage of this. We're on to the next one. Is this cool, Koa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's see this lake. You want you can lean back, sit back and you can lean on those Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's a lake. Mmm, going home. A big one. It's a, a big, big one. one. Can't see a thing because we're in the clouds now. See the ground just there. Cable car! Cable car! You're using another cable car. Say cable car. All right, where are they? Cable car! Oh, cable, cable car! <laughs> Listen, I'm not cable car, say cable car! All right. Cable car! Cable car! It's a tad frosty up here. We're fully in the clouds. This is wicked. Come on, mate, let's get your jacket on. Look, we're in a fridge. So... We're up at 1,700 meters, I think, above sea level. I think that is, and um, there's a lake here, and it's just we're only halfway up, so you can go up a lot higher than this to sort of the top of the peaks up there. But um, it was it's very cold here, but it was um, going to be over 100 euros for us to get up there, so which is pretty expensive. So. We just came here and this was about 46 euros, but still pretty expensive, but something you want to see. Yeah. You got one on? I got a baby on, but it's cold. You got a baby? Yeah. Hopefully we don't see any real bears. Hopefully we do see a real bear and a beaver. Wee! Wee! Hello. Circles. Is that cool? It's a bit cold and wet outside, so... Bit of soup, bit of coffee, a little bit of chippies. Is that good colour? Good boy. That was pretty cold up there. What do you reckon that was? How many degrees? Five degrees? Yeah, uh, it was very cold. It felt like snow weather. And we were speaking to some people 
um, yesterday afternoon before we they told us about this and then before we came up they um they said that if you go to the next level up um, there's actually snow up there so it's the middle of summer so you can imagine how cold it is just here all right we're going out for lunch and we are going out to a place called Central Restaurant. So we came to this place the other day and um, we had a really good time. And this bloke sat down with us. Um, he came over, introduced himself and sat down with us. And he's really nice and he actually lived in Australia for 13 years and his name's Vladimir and he is the person who actually owns the restaurant, which we didn't know at the time. Um, and we, we got on really well with him. So. Um, we're coming back here for lunch today, and it's kind of one of those places where you um, you you know how everything's kind of foreign in a, or everything is foreign in a new country, and you're a bit unsure where to eat, what to do, um, and where to go, and all that stuff. And this place is really good for that. The food is really good. They've got all the alcohol you need if you're into that, um, and they just give you a really homely feel when you're here so you go in Cole is really well looked after he's got a little table and chairs up here for kids they got everything you need so we're coming out here for lunch today we're going to show you guys what it's like and it's in a little town called Smokovets which is about 10 minutes from Velka Lomnitsia which is where we're staying so it's just up the hill a little bit um, 10 minutes drive and check the view it's like right at the base of these mountains and they're everywhere and oh, it's just dreamy. Is that good trout? It's beautiful. Perfectly cooked, really nice flavour. I think a lot of it has got to do do to the way he the way they cook their food here in an oven, but the oven's got coal in it. And apparently there's only a few of them in Slovakia, the whole of Slovakia, that have it. He's got it, so we'll go check it out. Why is this a special oven? Because there's a coal inside. Old school barbecue, eh? Based on the coal. I like it. fish in there. Yeah. Hot. And it's what? The only one in Slovakia? It's five of them. Five of them. They didn't uh, want to let me have it in there, but it's here. It's here. It's here. Vladimir brought us out this uh, fermented cheese dish. It's a traditional Slovak dish that he really wanted us. He recommended we try. It's um, fermented cheese, so it's actually alive. And he said that some people really like it and some don't. But well, yeah, I'm really excited to try it. And it's supposed to be really good for your guts. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's meant to be really good for your guts. And so yeah. It's really nice. I like it. It's like a fermented yogurt drink. Is that what this is? To go with the cheese. Mm. 
Apparently the yogurt drink is for the the cheese as well. It's pretty nice. Another reason why we also love this place, you see these little bins over here? Different colored bins. The reason why I'm showing you is because the rest um, in Slovakia, they don't actually recycle yet and, and Vladimir is. He's trying to do the best he can to um, fix little issues like this and it's just wicked. Wow, look at that. Meters, you will arrive at your destination. So this castle is 900 years old and it is one of the largest castles in Europe. Uh, I actually think it is the largest castle in Central Europe as well. So it's pretty exciting, let's go see it. <laughs> I feel like we're like walking into a castle from like the movie Willow. If you ever seen that, it's a sick movie. But check this out. So you can see all the land around them. This would have been the place where back in the day they would have like rode their horses up or came into the castle. And they would have had maybe some little markets or whatever down here, which they've got now, which is really cool. So have a look at this little fire burning. Yeah, man. So cute. <laughs> you gotta improvise, don't you? Koa, you look like a little kid from Harry Potter with a little cape. Come on, Mama. mountains in Slovakia are wicked. We love them. Yeah, they're really good. We really love them. Um, for us, it's quiet and peaceful and really scenic, is that the right word? Wherever you go, it's just beautiful everywhere. Um, really green. Yeah, it's calming and... <laughs> One good tip is if you we don't actually drink alcohol, but if you love to drink alcohol, mainly beer. Come to Slovakia. Come to Slovakia. <laughs> they seem to drink it really early in the morning. 
Everyone has it for breakfast, but you can't actually really, it's very hard to go out for breakfast unless yes, you want is. beer. It is a little difficult to find a good breakfast spot, although we did find one good spot for breaking that was really good. It was like this vegetarian vegan cafe. Yeah, that was good. So we found the best thing to do for breakfast is just go to the supermarket, get some fruit and veggies, whatever your, your eggs, whatever you want to have. Do it yourself. Do it that's yourself. What, that's what everyone here does. Apparently they don't go out for breakfast. Yeah. They eat at home. That's why it is hard to go um, out for breakfast. All in all, we are loving Slovakia. We're still here at the moment. Um, and we absolutely love it. Next week's vlog will be in another part of Slovakia. Um, and maybe a couple of other places also. So if you guys are liking our videos, um, please remember to click subscribe, like it, and give it a share, share it around with your friends. That would be wicked. We would fully love that. We appreciate everyone. We really appreciate that. That has been following us so far and liking all that stuff and sharing and subscribing and all that stuff. You guys are the biggest legends ever. We hope there's a lot more of you legends out there that Want to join in? Want to join in? <laughs> Alright guys, we will see you next week. Stay happy legends.